Hi, I'm Becca Hume, founder of Tap SOS. When I was 16, I started a part-time job with Marks & Spencer. During my first week, I remember being instructed by a manager to ask a colleague, Nigel, for his help. I was told he worked in the warehouse and would be wearing a high fizz vest. I noticed a man in high fizz and his back to me, standing at the industrial lift, and I thought, this must be Nigel. I began speaking, but he didn't turn around. When I got up next to him, I nudged him, and at that point, Nigel jumped around and indicated that he was deaf. We stood writing back and forth on a piece of cardboard. This was my first experience of communicating with someone who was deaf. I was uncomfortable knowing I couldn't communicate with Nigel, and that's when I decided to learn sign language, as this was Nigel's language. I spent the next eight years at my classes working to reach BSL level six. I was introduced to a vibrant, colorful, and warm language community and culture. A community who, living in a hearing world, could be quite isolated and disadvantaged. By being a fully qualified interpreter, gaining greater understanding, I'm able to continue creating more inclusive and accessible products. My creative journey started when I studied art and design at Ulster University, and then a master's in multidisciplinary design. I became aware that many products and services are built with only the hearing world in mind. My connection with the deaf community and my friendship with Nigel had opened my eyes to the disparity between the hearing world and the deaf community. I became passionate about helping to close the gap. Researching different products and services, considering possible scenarios, I wondered how would someone like Nigel reach out to 999 during an emergency? I realised it isn't just Nigel who would face challenges telephoning 999. What if someone had an allergic reaction? Their throat begins to swell, making it difficult to speak. Or if someone is choking, having an asthma attack, or experiencing a severe breathing difficulty? What if someone feels threatened and cannot make a sound in fear of being heard? A physical, medical, or situational barrier could happen to anyone. In 2016, I found the Tap SOS, a smartphone app for non-verbal communication with 99. It's designed in a highly visual manner using icons to guide and support someone through the process of making an NNN alert. It can be used quickly and discreetly and has been designed to send concise information about you and your situation to emergency services. Through Tap SOS, we hope to bring change, improve communication with the emergency services and help create a more inclusive society.